Welcome to another edition of Wednesday Sens Day, I'm Matt Titcombe. The Belleville Senators are currently in the midst of a four-game homestand and they will go back to work this Friday and Saturday when they host the Laval Rocket and the Providence Bruins. The Senators open the homestand with a crucial 4-2 victory over the Utica Comets in Marcus Hogberg's first AHL start of the season as he turned aside 25 shots for the win, but the Senators were beaten the following night 4-2 by the Lehigh Valley Phantoms as they dropped to 10-12-1 as the Phantoms scored on a penalty shot with 13 seconds left. But the game will forever be remembered as the Philip Gustafson game after his incredible stick save on Greg Carey in the first period. Senators forward Jack Roadwald, who is the active leader in points this season for Belleville, has seen his productivity increase this season under head coach Troy Mann and we caught up with him to discuss his recent successes. Uh, Roddy, first of all, you're second in the team on points, second in the team in scoring. Just kind of what's been crucial to the hot start to the season so far for you? Yeah, I think it's just about consistency. Just uh, I know that's something that I want to work on uh, coming into this year, and I think just uh, trying to be the same player every night and contributing uh, night in and night out. I think that that's uh, that's kind of what I've been striving for this year, and early on I've kind of tried showing that. Uh, so far the team is 10, 12, and 1, a couple of games under 500. Is this team better than what they're currently showing record-wise? Yeah, absolutely. I think that we have a, I think we have a lot stronger team than last year. I think that it's, uh, the record that we have right now, I think that uh, we should be above 500 for sure and uh, competing for the top spot in the division. So, you know what? I think we've dropped a couple crucial, crucial games, and I think that um, you know what? We are a good team. Uh, last year, you made your NHL debut. You played in four games. Played a game this year too. With how well you're playing, how motivating is it to get that opportunity to go back up to Ottawa? Yeah, absolutely. I think that um, you know you have to. You're played down here determines uh, if you're going to be the one going up or not. But um, you know what? I think that um, you know everybody wants to be in the NHL. I've said that before, and I think that uh, you can't lose sight of the fact that you're, when you're down here, you have to play to win down here and play uh, just play to get better every day. So I think that that's what I'm focused on right now, and uh, hopefully it pays off. Great. Thanks, Rodi. Appreciate the time. Awesome. Thank you. It's been a quiet week for the Senators on the transaction side of things, but the team did recall defenseman Jonathan Racine from Brampton and also loaned goaltender Jake Patterson back to the beast. At the NHL level, the Senators did sign defenseman Justin Falk, a veteran of more than 500 professional games between the NHL and AHL, to a two-way contract, and he could potentially see time in Belleville at some point this season. The Senators return to the ice on Friday night when they host the Laval Rocket on Superhero Night with Iron Man, Deadpool and Spider-Man all in attendance and fans are encouraged to dress up to win Senators prizes. Saturday is a Senators Teddy Bear Toss game where all Teddy Bears that were thrown onto the ice after the Senators scored their first goal of the night will be donated to the Belvoir and Trenton Firefighters Christmas Toy Drive. And tickets for that game as well as Friday night's contest against Laval are available at www.belvoirsends.com. I'm Matt Titcombe and we'll see you next time on Wednesday Sends Day.